definitely not the best day to be running. Air quality is pretty terrible, it smells like smoke. Uh, it's drizzling a little bit. It's actually surprisingly cool today as well, which is probably a benefit to running. So today's run not gonna be too long. Be five, maybe seven K at the most. I will have to start increasing my distances more and more because in was it two months, I have the six foot track marathon, my first ever ultra trail run. My legs were definitely feeling a bit worse for wear this morning. Kung Fu started back uh, yesterday, for me anyway. And we spent a good chunk of the class doing squats and lunges. So my legs today were feeling it. Today you may notice I have a hydration vest on. There's nothing in it. I'm just wearing it because I will be using this at the six foot track marathon in two months. And of course with the general rule of nothing new on race day, you should always practice with what you're gonna be using on race day. Just so make sure that your body is used to it and that everything works as it should. So I'm just taking a blank pack with me today just to get used to the idea of having it on me. And then as I keep going with my training, I'll of course be running with stuff in it, with hydration in it, especially for my longer runs. Very useful because it can carry, I think it's a couple of liters, a couple of liters of liquid. So I'll be putting my electrolytes into the water, in the bladder. That'll be great for my longer runs. I used this a lot last year when I was doing my Ironman training, at least for a little while. But then I started transitioning to the other piece of gear that I'm using, which I'm wearing right now, which is the Naked Belt. And excuse my belly fat. So the Naked Belt is like a piece of elastic -y fabric that goes around your waist. And it's got three fairly decent sized pockets. And it's just a really, really useful belt. And in there, I had my flexible water bottle. If you haven't tried um, the Naked Belt or seen it yet, go to your local specialist running store and hopefully they might have it. Um, any place that specializes in like specialty shoes or trail running, that sort of thing should have this belt because it is an awesome belt. I absolutely loved it. I've used it for every single run I've done over since last March. I got it in preparation for the Triathlon Club Championships, which was last March specifically, so that I could practice with it because I wanted to use it for the full Ironman. Another great benefit of the Naked Belt is that it has these sort of ties. So two of them at the front, so you can attach your race number to it. Uh, so it also doubles as a race belt, as well as storing a whole ton of gels, liquids, whatever you need for the race. Now for everyday running, I recommend the Naked Belt. It's just so small, but it can take a lot in it. But for a really extended run where you may not have access to uh, like uh, bubblers, water stops, that sort of thing, then the hydration pack is really useful since you can store a lot of water in it and carry it with you. Now, of course, that water will weigh you down a little bit. And if you're running with two liters of water, it's an extra two kilograms on top of what you're already carrying. So you've got to take account of that. Ah, oh, that rain's really coming down now. <laughs> and another thing you gotta be really careful about with the hydration pack is that you take all the air out of the water or liquid bladder. If there's any air in it, you'll get a lot of sloshing as you run, which can really put you off. It also kind of throws you around a little bit. If you take all the air out of it, then you've got no problems. And so if you're using effervescent um, electrolyte tablets, you may need to pre-prepare your bladder. So put the tablets in there first, wait until the effervescence is gone, 
because that creates its own little bubbles and then empty the bladder. Another great thing about having the hydration pack is the storage capability. So say for instance if you're doing a run commute, something light like this won't bounce around very much but you can still store enough to get by. So maybe if you take in work shirts to work on the Monday by driving or whatever, then the rest of the week you're running and you just bring with you enough so that you can change underwear, change socks, whatever, when you're at work. And I've also found it very useful doing triathlon training because say running to the pool, that way you can do a brick workout of run, then swim, and then run home. I just found this really interesting part of Callan Reserve or Callan Park. There's all these like semicircular bridges. This one unfortunately here is closed, but there's, yeah, it's like a little area where there's creeks and little pathways. It's kind of nice. You can hear the kookaburra. One of the things I say about the kookaburras is that they laugh when it's about to rain. It's currently raining, so yeah, they're accurate. Now this week is going to be incredibly busy at work so I've got to be on top of my game if I actually want to do training which I want to be doing training I definitely need to be doing training more training than I am doing at the moment so it'll probably be some very early mornings for me this week unfortunately but it is what it is what has to be done has to be done and once again, I'm going to be leaving links in the description box below for a whole bunch of places that you can donate to if you would like to donate and help out with the whole bushfire situation here in Australia. There are a whole ton of bushfires and just fires in general burning across Australia, uh, threatening people's homes, threatening the wildlife and animals, and it's generally destroying a lot. And I've got a lot of friends and family and people that I know that are affected by this. And it is frightening. It is scary. So anything you can donate is always greatly appreciated, regardless of which charity it is. There's a whole bunch that are helping out. But all donations are greatly appreciated. If you can donate, that would be excellent. And I will leave links in the description box below. And I forgot to restart my watch again. So I don't know what I'm up to in terms of kilometers, but it's about time for me to head back home. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, run, and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.